The UP200 Dryland Dash is back for a second year. Dylene Walsh from the UP Sled Dog Association is with us this morning. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. So tell us, what is the Dryland Dash? The Dryland Dash is a competitive two-day event where people who are doing sprint racing, it's slightly different than what we see in the UP200 Midnight Run Jack Pine 30, come out and do dryland events. They have six dog and four dog cart races that are uh, racing rigs, a scooter class, bike during, and can across, which is basically ski during with your dog, except for there's no snow, so you run with your dog. It's a two-day event for the competitive classes where they take the best time of both days and award prizes on Sunday. Okay, and so let's talk about the competitive classes because obviously this is different different racing to prepare for, as you mentioned, than those endurance races that last many days and, and hours. To how, do, how is the preparation different? I think the biggest difference is speed in these dogs because they are not doing distance and they're just going uh, very short distances. The trails are one and two miles. They can go as fast as they can go because they don't have to go for a long time. So these teams are very fast. Okay, so just like for people who train for a long race, uh, this is helpful for training for a long race in a way, I'd imagine? It could be. Okay. Um, in a longer race, you have to slow down. Yeah. Think of it sort of as the uh, difference between running sprint races and running a marathon. Okay, and now uh, so that's the competitive event that's yes. happening both days. Now Saturday is a chance for more people to get involved. Tell us about that. Yes, on Saturday the UP uh, 200 is sponsoring a fun run. It is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. People can register on the UP 200 website. They can also register the day of. We are having this event at the Nagani Township Park. This is for people who just want to come out and try it. They're not really sure they want to do a two-day competition yet. So they can do a one-mile bike tour or a one-mile catacross. And we will have a limited amount of equipment that people can borrow if they don't have a harness for their dog or a canacross belt. We have a limited amount of that that we could loan out to people who just want to give it a try. Okay, and this is the second year you're doing this, so hoping for some more, more interest and more spectators here in the second year? Yes, and the spectators are certainly welcome. They you know, the thing is to watch the start and very shortly thereafter, because it's only a one or a two mile <laughs> race, you'll get to see the finish. Um, it's also kind of a community activity. Nagani has been just wonderful getting involved with this. The Nagani Parks group has been great to work with. The uh, Nagani High School Orchestra, and I think it's their Boosters Club, is coming out to do concessions okay. on Saturday. So if you come out on Saturday, it's gonna be just a big fun event and watching all these teams people are coming from well obviously Wisconsin it's the Wisconsin Trailblazers that we partner with um, people drive all distances to come to these events this the dry land dash piece of it is part of a circuit where people collect points through the race season Okay, Darlene, thank you very much for coming and talking to us this morning about the Dryland Dash. And your TV6 Morning News continues with our final half hour after this break.